Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. So today's video is going to be a beauty favourite. It's not technically a monthly favourite. Some of these things are new, recent purchases and others I've had for ages, but I just wanted to gather together, gather together a selection of products that I'm really, really loving using to tell you guys about them, just in case you haven't come across them yet, you haven't tried them, or maybe you've looked at them and thought, mm, I'm not sure. So I'm just gonna dive straight in and start with the first product. I'll start with some skincare as I'm really loving properly taking care of my skin at the moment. Um, I've actually started following someone on Instagram. I think her Instagram name is Skin Obsessor. And she kind of posts pictures of all different beauty products, uh, like skincare products. Um, and I've just become a bit obsessed with her Instagram. And on there, I saw these. They looked really good, so I thought I'd give them a go. These are the Nip and Fab Skin Glycolic Fix um, Exfoliating Facial Pads. And they look like this. They kind of look like nail polish remover pads. You get 60. Basically, what they are, um, they obviously contain glycolic acid. So instead of scrubbing your face with scrubs with little grains in, you kind of sweep one of these all over your face and it exfoliates your skin through a, a very gentle acid. It sounds quite scary, but honestly, you can use these once in the morning and once at night, so they are they can't be abrasive hardly at all. I generally use one at night when I've taken all of my makeup off. I just feel like twice a day is a little bit too much, but I absolutely love them. They're so good. I really do prefer these exfoliating kind of products um, rather than a scrub. I just find that they work better. My nose area and my T-zone feel so much smoother after using them. And they smell really nice as well. So it basically retextures and resurfaces your skin. And uh, they're not mega cheap. They're like £12.99. You can get them in boots. But I would definitely give these a go. I, I cannot speak highly enough of these. I've been using them for a few weeks and I absolutely love them and they are definitely well incorporated into my nighttime skincare routine. Another product which has been in my nighttime skincare routine for a long time now, I have spoken about it before in my skincare videos and uh, acne videos and zit zapper videos and things like that. But you may still not have heard of this product. Well, everyone I think has probably heard of it, but maybe not to put on your face. And it is pseudo cream. This stuff is amazing. If you have loads of skin complaints, it's amazing. But I use this for spots and acne. Um, you might be looking at this and thinking, why are you putting baby's bum cream on your face? But if you actually read all of the uh, things along here, which are things you can use this for. There's a sneaky little bit that says acne. I'll read what it says basically. Pseudo cream is an antiseptic healing cream for nappy rash, eczema, surface wounds, sunburn, minor burns, acne, bed sores and chillblains. So you can literally use this for so many different purposes. I think it's amazing. I literally smother my face in this at night. Probably works better if you just put it on your areas of concern, but I'm just so used to just going like that with it. And honestly, with this and a mixture of other skin stuff, which if you want, if you want me to do a full like nighttime skincare routine, let me know because this with a mixture of other stuff that I love that isn't in this video, um, I really think is what's helped me clear up my spots finally after so many years. Um, I think it's a mixture of that and the fact that um, I'm no longer a teenager, that definitely doesn't help. Um, but this stuff I would definitely give a go. It's really inexpensive, you can get it in supermarkets, pharmacies, drugstores. Um, this is an absolutely gigantic pot, it's nearly the size of my head. But this last year, this actually is la going to last till 2018. and. Literally, I don't know if you can see, but about half of it's gone, but I've already had it for about two years. <laughs> I love this so much. I'm going to put the pseudo cream down now and stop going on about it. Some recent additions to my morning skincare. Don't worry, this isn't all skincare, but I'm just going to, you know, stick with the skincare for a minute. Some recent additions to my morning skincare routine are the a couple of the vitamin C products from the body shop. Now, I've loved their vitamin C range for years. I've tried all the different serums. I just think there's something about vitamin C which makes me feel like I'm doing something good for my skin and I'm going to make it look really glowy and dewy and fresh. And 
this stuff is amazing. This is the Body Shop Vitamin C Glow Boosting Moisturiser. First of all, hopefully you can see, it looks kind of like an orange gel and it does apply like a gel really. Um, it's very fast absorbing but it does give your skin a really fresh glow. I can't explain it, but it just definitely makes you feel like, you, if you wake up in the morning and you feel like your skin just looks dull, this is a great one to grab. So this is what I've been using in the morning. Um, and it says it's for dull, tired and grumpy skin, which mine definitely is a lot of the time. So this stuff is fantastic. And in conjunction with that, you could use this, which is the, Body Shop Vitamin C Instant Glow Enhancer. Again, for dull, tired, grumpy skin. I'm just going to show you what it looks like because it might surprise you that it comes out quite a vibrant orange colour, but it doesn't. It doesn't make you look orange. It doesn't make you look tanned or anything like that. It just kind of gives you this very subtle, sort of rosy glow. Gives it a healthy colour, like a healthy look. It doesn't change the colour of your skin, it just gives you a healthy glow. I didn't actually say how good this smells. Oh my God. It smells like if you just ripped open an orange, that really fresh, natural orange scent, that's what it smells like. So if you like zingy, um, fruity, cit citrusy scents to put on your face, try these. I'm gonna go on to hair. Now, I don't change up my hair routine that much, but a few, well, about six weeks ago, I started trying these because a lot of you recommended them to me. They're the Provoke Professional Hair Care Touch of Silver Shampoo and Conditioner, and these are the Daily Maintenance Shampoo and the Daily Nourish Conditioner. Um, they have a very strong purple colour to them, and they're great for blonde, grey, and white hair and it just helps to keep the brassy tones away and just helps to keep the colour a lot longer. Again, they're really inexpensive and I got these in like Asda or Sainsbury's. So they're available in supermarkets as well as Boots and Superdrug drugstores. Um, they have an optical brightener and they restore moisture, they restore moisture, softness and shine. So yeah, I'm really liking using these. I felt like I had a sort of orangey, warm colour to my roots when I got them done last and it's just helped kind of tone that down and I just feel like on the ends where it's very blonde, obviously it's much different to the top of my head, um, it just keeps that colour looking really vibrant. So yeah, I've been loving using these. I've got about a third left and yeah, love them. Also for hair, um, for a while, this is actually a new one, this is my second one, and this is the L'Oreal Elvive Extraordinary Oil. I really like this, um, when you hear oil, you think greasy, but it's like a dry oil, it's not going to make your hair greasy at all, obviously don't start putting it on your roots, but I just love this, at the moment I'm liking my curls to kind of look a little bit more defined and sleek and polished, instead of quite, you know, big and crazy like usual and this I just find helps to define the curls a little bit tames frizz keeps your hair healthy you can just pop it in before you blow dry and things like that and it's yeah it's got up to the 230c heat protection so this stuff is a really good multi-purpose product and it's just a good one to have to hand so I love this and that's relatively inexpensive as well a um, couple of makeup items. It's Topshop Beauty's five year anniversary. They've had their beauty range for five years. And um, they've kind of released a few of their best selling products, but they've got some really cute new packaging, like special packaging, and it's rose gold. It's so pretty. So I'll start with this one. As you can see, the little dot, well, I hope you can see the dots on this are rose gold. This is actually their best ever selling nail polish and it is of course adrenaline which is a gorgeous pinky glittery top coat and it has all different grades of glitter really tiny and bigger chunks so this is so pretty and this is actually a favorite of mine i've had this before and this is their best ever selling lipstick and it's in the color rio rio which again it's like rose gold so cute as you can see is a very bright vibrant red and it's that kind of blue toned red that makes your teeth look really white so that's gorgeous um, so 
So yeah, I think they're available in stores now. They have like a collection of these and then some blushes, um, some more nail polishes, some more lipsticks. Go and check it out because I, I really do like these. They're super pretty. I've been loving wearing this over the last week or so. Okay, couple more things. The first thing of the last things, that doesn't make any sense. The second to last thing, that makes sense, is the um, Palmer's Cocoa Butter Rapid Moisture Spray Lotion, which looks like this. Um, I had the Vaseline Aloe Vera one last summer, which I loved because it's so fresh and it's so nice to have a spray moisturiser, don't obviously spray on your face, spray moisturiser when it's hot. This one is obviously the cocoa butter one, so it smells like chocolate. It's really, really yummy. Um, I use this when I apply my tan because I just find just giving a, yourself a coat of this and then obviously just letting it absorb, it's far, really fast absorbing, and then applying tan, you get a really nice even coverage of tan. Um, yeah, it's fast absorbing, non-greasy, non-staining, and this smells lovely. If you love chocolate, I would get this one, but for the summer, I really love the Vaseline one. I just couldn't get hold of it, but I would have that in this video too. Um, I don't really like these in the winter because, come on, spraying yourself with a freezing cold mist when it's when you're actually cold and you've just got out of the shower or something is not very nice. But in the summer, oh, these are lovely. Um, so I picked this one up, hadn't tried it before, it's new, and I really, really like it. So that's that one. And then I couldn't finish this video without including a perfume. And I wanted to include this one. It's a bit of a pricey option. Jo Malone fragrance. Jo Malone, jo Malone clone. <laughs> it's like a tongue twister. And this is geranium and verbena. And this is from the Rock the Rock the Ages collection. Um, it's so pretty. It's just got like a soft. I just nearly stuffed that stuck that up my nose. If you noticed, so it's got this sort of flowery, fruity scent. Oh, I love it so much. Um, this is a 30ml. You can get much bigger bottles, but as I said, they're quite pricey. But these are really nice handbag size sizes. You can put them in your bag. You can take them, like, travel with them. I just... Oh, I love this so much. It's such a pretty scent. And because they're colognes, they last for ages on your skin. So if you are ever near a Jo Malone or if you're in like a big department store like um, Harrods or something, then go and just have a try of this. This is one of my favourite ones. Um, yeah, Geranium and Verbena. Love that. So that's everything I wanted to share with you today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you've tried anything that I've mentioned and you love it, let me know in the comments below or if you have any suggestions for me of things to try that maybe will end up being in my next beauty favourites then please let me know because I love it when you guys tell me the things that you love um, also I just want to quickly say as this is a beauty video hello to everyone I met at BeautyCon on Saturday um, it was so lovely to meet so many of you and you were all so sweet um, so yeah keep tweeting me your pictures because I've loved seeing our pictures and Instagram on Instagram and stuff. So yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone that came and said hello or came to mine and Sabrina's meetup. So yeah, thank you so much for watching everyone. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!